All right, today's workout is going to be an EMOM. Think about this as a conditioning workout. We're gonna go every minute on the minute for 20 full minutes, moving through four different exercises. The first one for which we're gonna go ahead and start with is a kettlebell clean and jerk. Now, if you're wearing anything that can be broken, like a watch, um, go ahead and turn it around or take it off. We don't want it to um, be damaged by this kettlebell. The kettlebell is going to be from the hang. So you're going to be able to hang and then get it to the shoulder and then jerk it up overhead. Again, we'll go ahead and pick it up from here. We're going to swing through. Notice how this bell kind of goes into corkscrew. So when I'm swinging it, my thumb is going to be inward. And as it swings up and around, I'm going to turn it and make it kind of this turn key position okay so uh, thumb comes in I'm gonna go ahead and turn it in to that front rack position and then I'll go ahead and push jerk it or push press it whichever one you kind of want to get into a rhythm of so shoulder to overhead is more what we're looking for um, jerk is gonna be a little bit faster as we go through it all right you're gonna try to accumulate as many reps as you can in that minute from there, we're gonna to move to the double under. You have double unders. If we're scaling, we're gonna to scale to crosses. We want this to be a challenging movement, especially when you're tired. So singles are a little bit less mindful. Um, we can go ahead and scale to those singles if we need to, but crosses are going to be level one and then singles level two. We're gonna accumulate as many reps of that jump rope as we can. And now rounds one and two, we might be feeling really good, but as fatigue sets in, it is gonna become a lot more challenging and our grip is going to become a factor. Minute three will be kettlebell swings, American style, so all the way up overhead. We're gonna go ahead and get that bell, make sure the bottom of the bell is all the way up. And again, we're trying to do as many reps as we can in that minute. It does not have to be unbroken, all right, but we are trying to get and accumulate as many reps as we can. Our final minute is the sit-up. We have the ab mat sit-up. We want to make sure that that ab mat is not something that is hindering us, but rather helping us. Bottoms of your feet together, knees are splayed out. We'll lay back, touching our uh, shoulders to the ground. And as we sit up nice and tall, we want to sit and touch the ground uh, near our toes. So we're going to sit up nice and tall and touch near our toes on the ground not our toes the ground near our toes okay and again we're going to do as many as we can as soon as that ab mat sit up is minute is over well guess what you have to go right back to the kettlebell and we're going to go into the top with those kettlebell clean and jerks so there is no rest designated in this workout any rest that you take is because you uh, needed it and you uh, actually uh, took in that time to rest instead of getting your max reps. Again, we're trying to accumulate as many reps as we can in this 20 minute workout and it's going to become uh, intriguingly uh, more difficult as we go. So that's going to be something to wrap your head around. All right, go ahead and make sure that you choose a weight that's challenging. RX is going to be 53 for the men, 35 for the women. This is a weight that can be moved for the entire minute if you are able.